Hello everyone. In this live, I'll address some very important questions you've all had that we've had to navigate ourselves relating to this AI technology and other conversational AI platforms, all for the purpose of making it easy because it's really not worth it otherwise. However, it is worth it on the flip side. It's very much worth it if you understand what we're gonna cover in this video to make marketing and lead management easy, leveraging conversational AI. So trust me, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this, especially because they're answers to your questions. So with these answers, you'll be in a position to use conversational AI to generate consistent returns on your investment, regardless of what industry or niche that you're in. So let's jump right in. The first really important question around this topic came directly from you guys in so many words, and it's all around legality, the legality of this AI, conversational AI. So with that, I'm not a lawyer, so all I can do is tell you what we've been told from other people who are a lot more knowledgeable on that legal subject. But the first question comes from Dorelius, 1711, and it's one of three questions that we're gonna get to. Is it illegal to call customers directly? And the answer is calling someone you don't know isn't illegal, but it's regulated. And I'll explain because there's a fine line here that we have to understand, right? So the bottom line of what you should know is having to do with the Telephone Consumer Protection Act or TCPA of 1991. And that was a really long time ago. So in this series, maybe not necessarily in this video, we'll definitely cover all the updates to that. We'll jump into the updates of regulations, particularly how it affects you utilizing conversational AI with respect to 10 DLC A2P regulations and the February 8th of 2024 FCC regulations around conversational AI cold calling. So first, the answer comes from the TCPA legislation itself, actually, and it's understanding this that's so important, which is why I'm covering it. So what you can do and what you cannot do as follows. The TCPA regulates telemarketing, cold calls, auto dialers, pre-recorded calls, text messages, and unsolicited faxes, which obviously we don't do a lot of faxes, but the bottom line on businesses of what they are able to do is this. You can call existing customers, okay, so that's that. You can make telemarketing calls to existing customers without prior consent unless they've opted out, and the question you should be asking yourself in your mind with that in mind is existing customers. How can we create existing customers? What defines an existing customer? And a point that I want to highlight on that as far as marketing in any business is landing pages with opt-ins, right? If it's a lead magnet and we do this, and I'm sure you guys watching, you've done this too in your businesses where we give away something and in that box, we say, you know, you can get this on the other side of this opt-in form where you consent to receive text messages or calls from us. So that's one thing. Other things you can do is manually dial. Now, again, we'll talk about that. You can make manual calls to potential customers without restriction. So what defines manual? Click a button once to be able to send a text like launch control, right? Every single, and that's for a text, right? Or a call. But in launch control, you have the ability to, each time you press the button, it makes that text go out to that individual prospect. So we need to know what defines manual. Can you get help with technology, leveraging technology that will help you click it manually for you? And I think the answer to that is yes. And two, you can send non-commercial messages. So this is the big thing about, especially the niche of real estate investing what defines a non-commercial message. So literally in their nomenclature inside of the TCPA regulation, it says you can send non-commercial messages or informational calls without prior consent. So for your information, I'd like to make an offer to buy your house if you're interested. In some respects, you as the business owner just have to be like the judicial branch with a judicial judgment call that you're going to make ask yourself this question okay are you telemarketing and or selling something and in my opinion as a lay person of the law not authorized to give legal advice my judiciary faculties tell me no no i'm obviously not i have no intent to sell anything to this person and you might say 
well, what if I'm actually selling something? The short answer is stay within compliance, but we'll also get to that. Whether it's in this video, if it goes too long, it'll be as part of the series because these are really important questions to help you elevate your business utilizing this technology because it's freaking insane. It's groundbreaking. It's something that we want to implement right away to scale. So now, what can you not do? Okay, we talk about what you cannot do as it pertains to calling somebody because it regulates texting, right? We're not going to be talking about texting. This is uh, the artificial intelligence for cold calling, but it really is about the same thing. You cannot use auto dialers. That's what it says. You cannot use auto dialers or pre-recorded messages for telemarketing without prior consent. And again, I would suggest to you that like, what is that prior consent? If you have a marketing piece that gives something away for free, that's an opt-in, you definitely want to integrate that into your strategy to then use or leverage this conversational AI, whether you're in real estate or outside of the real estate industry for that purpose to follow up. And really what you're doing there is you're managing your leads at that point, people who have already agreed and consented to receive correspondence from you. So that's what you cannot do. You cannot call numbers on the national do not call registry without prior consent, which it, it might sound like that's obvious, obvious, but here's an interesting fact. It's point. It's a point that's laughable. Did you know that it costs anywhere from twenty-two thousand dollars to get your hands on that DNC registry, that National DNC registry? Think about that. That's why we're building out, by the way, a DNC blacklist litigator scrub within the MediaZ CRM.com platform that that uses this, and some other platforms do that too, like Launch Control with texting. They have a blacklist litigator scrub, which I think is really cool, and that's something I've always liked about Launch Control, and I think Smarter Contact does that too. But you don't have to drop just 20K. You just use those ones that give you the option already. So as far as phone calls are concerned, there's more you can do than you cannot do. The best thing you can do in this regard, obviously, is consult legal counsel for your specific business that's tailored to what you're doing. At the same time, there's more. So stay tuned because the next question is actually really good. At Mitch, uh, Micheletti, I think is what it is, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, he said, how have you dealt with the new FCC rule under the TCPA that AI cold calling is now classified as robocalls? And that's the thing I mentioned that came out February 8th of this year that went into law ostensibly, and it requires an opt-in rather than just getting the robocall from an artificial intelligence. So Micheletti, you're not the only one who's asked this. It's a great question. And actually in that text thread, uh, another watcher, another viewer replied to you and said, with the same theory, which was shared in the nature of their question. And the question was this, does the fact that outbound cold calls for real estate being offers to buy someone's house and not sell you something make any difference concerning the compliance with the new FCC regulations on AI calls or any other FCC outbound calling rules? Now, the, the other part of that question, now any other, that's kind of a different thing. But what I had mentioned is, yeah, I'm pretty convinced, at least in my own mind, that I'm not calling to sell them anything when I'm literally talking about giving them a check to buy their house. So I, I wanna know your guys' thoughts on that, but that's how we're running our business. So as far as the, the FCC law is like, I don't like being in the gray. I like to be like in the black or the white. I wanna make sure I'm in compliance, but that's the way that I'm approaching it. Um, although I, yeah, as I said, the, that answer really just, it, it lies in my previous statement. We have to determine our risk threshold with wisdom uh, and have this like judiciary, judiciary brain. Uh, so number two of three that the other guy had shared that was about the TCPA, his, his question is very related to this as well. As far as sending non-commercial messages, you can send non-commercial messages or informational calls without prior consent. Now, FYI, like I said, I'd love to make an offer to buy your house if you're interested. That sounds like it's pretty informational to me. That's just so you know, knock, knock, knock. I don't wanna sell you anything. So you're not having that conversation about actually selling some, something to somebody. So it's a judgment call. So I can't say definitively, yes, Bubble Wrap's comment was true, but I will tell you, Micheletti, that there's, you know, there's that, that way that we talked about that I'm approaching it. Even since the 10 DLCA 2P restrictions on SMS marketing came out a few years ago, when I continue to say, People are running for the hills. They're like, oh, text message marketing is dead. No, I, I don't think it is. I think we need to 
just pivot and zig when other people zag. So I don't like being in the gray, like I said, when it comes to the law, but I also look at it from a perspective of I'm truly not selling a thing and I'm adding value because as a real estate investor, I can't tell you three people this last week we saved from foreclosure and that makes me feel good. And we got them more for their house than they would have gotten otherwise. Otherwise, they would have been kicked out of the street, on the street, forcibly removed by the police. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It is, it is the truth. So it makes me feel good when that happens, despite regulations, although we try to stick with all the regulations and being compliant. And all this is related to the first question that Duralius asked, and he had two more, so I'll address those now. The other one is, number two, if it is okay to call consumers directly as a business, is it okay to call but not to record unless mutual agreement in many states? So that is a huge topic because it does depend on your state. Now, again, I'm not a lawyer, but I consulted with my legal team about this exact thing because it's really important to me. I'm in Arizona. My business is in Arizona. Everything that I do in Arizona, it's in Arizona, whether we're calling another state. So all that said, the laws in Arizona that govern my business give me the ability to record every interaction, every call, every conversation without consent at all. And I'm able to do that. But in some states, you're not, you can't. So you absolutely need the option to be able to not record those calls. That's something that AI doesn't actually give you. Uh, as far as I know it, well, at least they haven't come up with an update, but that is something that actually you do get in the Made Easy CRM at madeeasycrm.com. So you can go there to learn more about it, um, and then you can even test the AI with a little script. It might look different than that because the developers are making the website better, but that's just us taking the AI power and putting it into a package that's usable. If you saw any of the other videos about uh, air AI specifically, not just about conversational AI, you'll know that that was like the major failure spot where I was excited to use the conversational AI, but I couldn't like, I couldn't use it to harness its power because fortune is in the follow up. It was really just a cluster to try and follow up and manage my leads appropriately. So that's why we came out with that. So all that said, it, it is something that's important. It was a phenomenal question. It is okay. And with the made easy CRM, you have the ability to not elect to record those calls for me and my business i recorded the calls because i can and not just because of a gotcha but also for legal compliances but also for training purposes internally you want to get better and master your craft you want to also make sure the ai is not dropping the ball and we don't just use it and this is my advice to those of you who need to do it in the follow-up way and not the cold calling way not the direct outreach we use it to manage the lead flow so just picture and imagine you getting a lead in from uh, whatever source it is, PPC, PPL, they come to your website, they see that, you know, you guys have a solution for buying houses or in the case of a widget, right, you're selling something. They opt in to get more info about it, whether, whether it's a high ticket item or whether it's a low ticket item. And then you have the ability to get a call immediately from AI. That's totally fine. They opted in, they check the box that says, Yes, I consent to receive um, calls from this from this company. In fact, even with this right here, this is I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me make it a little bit bigger. I agree to receive text messages and calls from Made Easy CRM and REI Made Easy. We respect your privacy. So when you test the AI with, by the way, 125 different voices, which is really super cool. Um, you're also agreeing that we're going to follow up with you because obviously we're going to market to you to say like, you'd be crazy not to use this CRM if you like AI um, and that appeals to you. The same thing applies even in a non AI related thing. So that is as far as consent to call. If you're in a state, you can still have the script for AI I say, hey, this call is recorded for quality assurance purposes. Um, and if obviously they don't consent to that then they're going to hang up the phone. And in many cases, I'd, I've never seen it where they're like, oh, wait a second. Prospect, right? Prospect calls into somebody and they say, hey, thank you for calling XYZ company. This call is recorded for quality assurance purposes. They're not going to be like, oh, you know what? Never mind. I don't want help with the problem that I had. Bye. Usually that's not the case. So to, to kind of dive in and answer your question more, obviously that explanation was for that purpose. But that's just to say that 
you do have the ability, I agree that you need the ability to not have the call recorded. But if you didn't, say you're using Air AI exclusively and you're using their platform or some other conversational AI platform that didn't have that ability, write it into the script. Let them know that the call is being recorded and they're continuing the call is consent for their call to be recorded, okay? That's the best, uh, I think that's the best solution from my non-legal perspective. <laughs> so the other question that you had, I think it's also a really good question. Uh, and it was because of number two, what we just talked about, is it possible to disable the recording in case it could be uh, used for legal purposes or legal business calls, or even, this is not something that you mentioned, but if you're in the business space that requires HIPAA compliance, I know that a lot of us in the real estate investing space we're not really involved, but I also know that a lot of real estate investors are former nurses and, and even doctors, and they understand that HIPAA compliance is really important. So just natively inside of the Made Easy CRM, it is, it's something you can do, but Air AI, I don't know, that they may come out with it actually soon, I'm not sure, but I think that's a really good question and I appreciate it. Uh, so all that said, guys, we will take some questions live too, so if you do have any, please dump them in there. But there's another really important question that came from hit music worldwide and he mentioned this there is some warbling and aliasing i think that's that word aliasing with the female southern voice and there needs to be an african american male what does that say i need them to let us create our own voices these voices may not be perfect uh, or fit for millions of prospects out there uh, that don't respond to standard accents positively. They, the delivery of the standard male accent is great though. Okay, so I appreciate that question. What you're saying is the seven voices that are in Air AI, which um, I'll just put on my screen right now. These seven voices that we're gonna pull right up here, the American standard male, the British accent, he's saying there's aliasing in the Southern female. All right, cool, female. sounds good. Well, uh, we'll kind of dive in. So that's what he's referring to in his question. And I say, I, I don't disagree with you that there's not aliasing or there is, um, you know, when you actually play it out in a script, not just this one little piece. But what I did notice uh, in, in, in here, when we look at the Made Easy CRM, there is 125 different voices and you can sample several of them, including SpongeBob SquarePants. So if you want to do that, check it out. Um, and you also get, you know what? let me share with you what i'm talking about in the form of a video because it's going to be a lot more helpful than me just talking about it picture and imagine you have one person that you've hired within your business that completely replaced your entire sales and customer service teams and that this single employee generates more sales and provides better customer support than all of those employees combined and at a fraction of the cost. And to scale, you have click button, instant hiring and zero training required to replicate this team member. While that might sound like the distant future, business owners just like you are already doing this. And this transformative technology is all part of the Made Easy CRM. And it'll completely revolutionize your sales and customer service and put your business scale on autopilot. Because what you've pictured in reality are the results that you'll experience using the Made Easy CRM. And what this is not is a robot that says press one for customer service and press two for sales. In short, what this is, is the most advanced artificial intelligence that engages in meaningful conversations with your prospects and clients. And it can perform the same tasks as any customer service rep with precision and it can do it to scale. And that's just a fraction of the functionality that's native to the Made Easy CRM because the Made Easy CRM is built for marketing and prospecting, lead nurturing and management, closing deals and tracking KPIs and metrics so that you can make an informed strategic decision as you automate and scale your business. Using the Made Easy platform is like having an entire team and the software that you need to run your business and grow it all in one. With 125 different AI voices that sound indistinguishable from a human voice with multiple accents and dialects of 11 different languages and counting, 
the AI responds to what your clients and prospects are actually saying to make the sale or offer customer support for every person that's interacting with your business. In fact, in addition to the 125 languages and multiple dialects, you can also customize the emotion of each voice, as well as the speed, the tonality, the variance, and the sensitivity of any AI agent's voice in the Made Easy CRM. And their working hours, their schedule, it's all up to you. They can work 24-7, 365 to scale with absolutely no limits on the number of inbound and outbound calls. Imagine seeing all of this on someone's resume. You'd hire them immediately if you could afford them, obviously. Well, as it turns out, you can afford to hire them. What this really means is, continue to imagine, your one agent is working for you. They've been trained perfectly in your niche of sales and they offer superior customer service to everyone. They also excel at establishing real connections and they can reach out to over 100,000 clients every hour at any hour of the day or night with no need of being motivated or managed and they have no need for future raises, no need of breaks or vacations. They send digital assets and pay links via email or text and schedule appointments. They also initiate automated follow-ups and reminders and they execute these follow-up outreach as you need them to automatically. And they can even transfer live calls with a prospect to a person on your team or yourself without you ever needing to involve yourself. And if this rock star employee of yours ever runs into a voicemail, you can either have them leave a voicemail so your prospect can call back and either speak with you or the AI agent, or you can have them immediately hang up and then continue to make connections with other prospects or customers. That's exactly what the Made Easy CRM offers. This candidate's resume is right in front of you and they're available for you to hire right away. But obviously, you'd be asking some important questions in an interview before making a hiring decision, right? So maybe you're asking the question, do these agents actually sound like robots? Or how can we secure communications and be within compliance if needed? Of course, you'd also be asking, what's the cost? As far as the voice of these AI agents, your clients and prospects will not be able to discern between a human voice and our artificial intelligence that establishes real connections and interactions as it generates sales to scale your business and as it provides superior customer support to increase client retention. This, of course, creates an autopilot business that continues to scale, which gives you time freedom and financial flexibility. So with this AI employee that comes with the Made Easy CRM, there's no need to worry about the most common struggles of the average customer service team that has poor call quality, long wait times, and limited hours of operation and many language barriers. Here, guys, there's so also good. no need to worry about prospects slipping through the cracks because of a lack of follow-up either. And while it's easy to see that this one agent could enhance the sales and customer service of every single business on earth, because there's literally no business or industry that this agent couldn't improve, it actually gets even better than simply having a stellar employee that performs exceptionally at every role with any task, all within a superior management platform with everything that your business needs from data to deal and beyond. Regarding the question about security, there is also a lot of security concerns when handling customer service and sales in certain industries that the Made Easy CRM just nips in the bud. With the Made Easy CRM, we understand that data security is paramount to the success and compliance of many different industries. We know that for many businesses, strict security is absolutely non-negotiable, which is why the Made Easy CRM has HIPAA compliance mode that doesn't allow recording or transcription of conversations. And that allows your business to remain within compliance of all regulations. And with security and flexibility as well in mind, the Made Easy CRM is sensitive to different industries needs to seamlessly integrate with over 6,000 other platforms that may be crucial to your operations, including Google Suite, HubSpot, Salesforce, Go High Level, and even SendBird API and SDK 
or other HIPAA compliant texting or conferencing platforms. Whatever your need is, the Made Easy CRM can integrate with it and you can remain secure and within compliance. To the question of cost, we know that staffing and operational costs is a huge factor when hiring sales. Okay, cool. So you guys kind of got that. It spoke a little bit better than I, not that I'm not that great off script, but just the way that it was already explained in that little video, I think made a lot more sense to answer some of those questions. The, can we limit the recording, right? Of course you can, right? Especially with the HIPAA compliance videos or HIPAA compliance businesses and stuff like that too. So those are all of the things that we had questions about, which is why I was saying in the very beginning, like it's really not worth it if you don't have those things that are built into the platform and maybe air AI will come out with all that stuff. And if they do great, that's awesome. But as far as the use case for real estate investors, uh, we realized it's not just a great use case for real estate investors, but for other related industries like the mortgage loan industry, which by the way, Mitchell Eddie, I know that, that you would ask about that as well. So I just wanted to let you know that, yeah, we have it built out for that too. But if you have any doubt, you could just check it out and like make a mock call to yourself by going to the madeeasycrm.com and literally for free, just having the AI call you. Dude, I had it call me and I had it sell me a 1776 replica quill from the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776. And I actually want that pen now. And I'm not gonna play it for you guys right now, but I will in a future video, but it was, it was mind blowing. And I only put in as a prompt in the box over here where it says like insert instructions for the AI right here. I only put in there as a prompt, like you're calling to sell a 1776 replica quill that was used in the signing of the Declaration of Independence, sell hard and don't take no for an answer. So that's all I put in there. And I think that that means less is more. And that is the no bumpers on the AI. So that doesn't speak to how awesome of like technology I did. That's just saying the same technologies that are with Air AI and the other platforms that we've integrated with it, you could actually use this to sell. But remember, if you're not calling to offer something to them, like an offer on their property, make sure you stay in, with, in compliance because I think that's going to be really important moving forward um, as this is going to get more heavily regulated. And we know that it's true. On the flip side, the thing that I think is going to be most impactful as far as giving business owners their time back doing this is going to be the lead management aspect because while at the same time you can get away with if you're skirting the lines right doing the cold calls with ai despite the regulation from february 8th that came down from the fcc you're better off not really going for that and just using it for follow-up because there are so many other forms of marketing that are super effective pay-per-click is one of them especially if you're selling a widget that doesn't have a lot of competition in that space right like the 1776 replica. I think even on the site for the for Made Easy CRM, one of the examples that I gave for people to possibly uh, put in there was an example right here. I said, for example, say you're selling a desktop replica of the Ark of the Covenant. You can say something like this. This is a prompt, right? You're calling to sell a desktop sized replica of the Ark of the Covenant constructed as detailed in the book of Exodus precisely as described by Moses from God. Sell hard and do not take no for an answer. Do not let the prospect hang up until you get a sale. So you could do it, yes. And you could also do it as an automatic call from an opt-in that just says, call me right now, which is exactly, as I had mentioned, what this is right here. It's just the AI calling you. You could take that and put it into your business for whatever it is, but obviously, hey man, we're here to make real estate investing easy. So that's what we're really focused on. Uh, and you know, investing related businesses and such. So if you have questions, please drop them in. You guys already know, I'm gonna answer them. I've been sick for the last couple of weeks. My whole family has, so I haven't been able to go live on Fridays. And in fact, I'm a little late going live today, but I hope you guys got tremendous value from this. It is my goal to give you value. So I'm gonna end the live stream now, but do leave those comments uh, in, in there and we'll get to you. And test out that AI, man. Try and break it is what I say. Try and break it. Go to madeeasycrm.com and then just make it sound goofy. Do what you can. You guys take care. Have a great weekend because it is Friday. And we'll talk to you guys later. We'll, of course, we'll be making real estate investing easy. He said, just check, checked out the website. Could you provide an update on when the CRM is expected to transition out of beta? Yes, I can. 
Um, we're actually beta testing right now. We have several beta testers. There's a line that's as long as my arm to actually sign up for the beta testing, but we want to make sure that we get good quality feedback from people who are actually using it because it's not about selling, selling, selling. It's about making a good quality product because we have had the experience of signing up for something we believe the hype about and then being very disappointed because it didn't deliver on what it was purportedly supposed to be for. So it's probably going to be about another two weeks to three weeks before we're kind of going to transition out of beta. But we're also taking beta testers. Uh, so it's 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 discounted. So it's two ninety seven a month. Uh, there's a little sign up fee, but there's it's two ninety seven a month for beta and it's like unlimited. If you were to go to things like uh, launchcontrol.us just to, you know, kind of put some relevance to this because there's not another as far as I know service that is related to this. But if you go to launchcontrol.us, which I'll share on my screen right now, um, you'll see that if you go to pricing, there's these tiers, right? The, the first tier is 497, you get 10,000 outbound messages, 797, you get 20,000 outbound messages and so on. Well, for us, it's 297 in the beta and it's, well, it's however many you wanna send, right? It's not included, it's just you use Twilio and you use the platform and it's whatever. So there's no like limit to how much you can uh, throw out there. And at the end of the day, if you're sending 10, 20, 30,000 messages, I mean, you're crushing it with marketing. I tell you that, like with your prospecting, we used to do 50,000 messages every single day using launch control. So I'm sorry, 50,000 every month. Okay, rewind the tape. Uh, so we were using the pro here in three different accounts. Um, we've been we've downscaled from that because we're integrating more forms like AI and we're integrating PPC and PPL and a couple other lead generation tactics. But that is to say that it works. So do what works, but you don't have to spend fifteen hundred dollars a month to do it. Um, and and that's that's just kind of the way we see it. We want to make it as easy as possible. Um, and I get it. Everything's a pun on uh, on make it easy, but it's true. Like you guys work hard enough. You work hard enough. If you're in a nine to five, I know it, I've been there too. You work really hard and it's time to make it easy. So that's about the time we expect to transition out of beta. Thank you uh, for that question. Uh, Barco Force, appreciate you. All right, everybody, any more questions, just put them in the comment. Remember, even after the live, if you put the comments in there, I will address every single one of them as soon as I possibly can. I appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. We're together, we're gonna make real estate investing and other businesses